All right, so let me walk you through how to use Canva if you do elect to go this route. Now, one of the benefits of Canva is obviously that it's free, right? But it doesn't come with a lot of the features that Premiere Pro has, obviously, not Premiere Pro. <laughs> Photo, I'm looking at Premiere Pro right next to Photoshop. It doesn't come with a lot of the features that Adobe Photoshop has, obviously, as well as Lightroom, which is something that you're gonna get when you you know, you know you uh, grab the Photoshop bundle. Um, so I'd recommend that you go this route because there's a lot more functionality and you'll, your thumbnails are gonna be regardless of whether you're creating courses, whether you're, you're just doing YouTube videos, are one of the things that are going to really get the click and grab eye attention in a competitive you know, place. So it's really, really, really understated that you need to be good at thumbnails, okay? That said, if you're just starting out and you don't wanna master thumbnails and you don't wanna pay for a software, I totally get it, I've been there um, before myself, okay? So let me run you through a quick tutorial on how to use Canva. It's pretty self-explanatory, it's pretty easy to use, and it's drag and drop, so anybody can use it and pick it up pretty fast. But let me just run you through a tutorial of how to actually, you know, what it looks like. Here we are on my account. It's 100% free. You can sign up today and use it 100% free in all the features. You can create designs, use their specific you know, dimensions for certain things, um, and then also create custom designs, okay? So to create a custom design, what you're gonna do, just to kind of show you right here, is if you click Create Design, it's gonna allow you to either create the design for something specific, right? So if you know specifically you're interested in creating a cover for your Facebook page, well, there you go, there's the exact pixel ratio that currently Facebook covers are. So you just click that and then you know, okay, that's gonna take you to a Facebook cover, okay? And it's gonna take you to the exact dimensions, okay? Now, before, when, when in the very beginning, when I actually said, and there's an example for a YouTube thumbnail that's very related, so 1280 by 720p is uh, what's typically uh, recommended for YouTube thumbnails. Now there's also, I believe it's 1920 by 1080 P is the bigger one. So keep that in mind now, but just understand that that's, you know, the general dimensions. Okay. Now there is one here that says YouTube thumbnail or YouTube channel art, which is something that I recommended. There it is right there. YouTube channel art. Okay. So let me just click on Instagram story as well as YouTube channel art to show you the different, you know, nuances of how these actually look. And we'll go with Instagram posts as well. So you click on Instagram post, you see, okay, it literally comes up with the shape of the Instagram post. And then I can add a picture and you can see I still use this from time to time to you know reshape some of my own thumbnails. You can add a, a picture in here and then kind of drag it out to fit that actual thumbnail, right? Or that actual thing. Now you'll see that I crafted this thumbnail right here for YouTube and it doesn't actually fit this template right here. So when you're creating and crafting something yourself, you can either resize or you can create in actual Canva like I'm gonna show you, okay? But then when you download it, it's gonna be those exact dimensions. So let me download and then I'll show you. And one of the things that's also gonna help you is when you're sa when you're downloading your files to grab them, you can save your, your metadata, which is gonna help you rank a little bit better uh, on YouTube or whatever platform you're using this thumbnail on, okay? So just gonna add a little boost to your video because you'll see obviously it says untitled. So if I click this, you're gonna see it pop up with literally the same dimensions for an Instagram post. So there you go, Instagram post, okay? Now let's X out of this one. Here we are with the example of the YouTube channel art. So for those of you in the very beginning when I went through the setting up your YouTube channel walkthrough, if you need to know how to set up your own YouTube channel art, this is how you do it, right? You go to the YouTube channel art template on Canva for free. You can obviously use one of their templates right here and then just literally, you know, if you wanted to use this one, you'd get the background, you can change the, uh, the wording here, you just click in it and type whatever you want. Example of my channel, whatever you wanna do, right? Drag it a little bit out, drag it a little bit in. Everything's drag and drop here, it's super easy to use. You can also like center, you can bold it, you can change the size, you can change the font. There's a number of different things and also with a background too, you can add effects, so keep that in mind too. Like you can add effects to it. There's a lot that you can do for a free software, don't get me wrong. Um, now, if you didn't have this and you just had like a background, so let's go to like, I don't know, like a, a red background, right? Now it's a horrible example, it looks terrible, but just roll with me here. I just wanna show you different features. So it's really easy to use, it's just drag and drop. You can kinda, you know, obviously upload your own pictures into Canva right here by uploading an image from something you downloaded. And again, what I usually recommend is going to a stock site like Pexels or Pixabay, or there's a number of them out there. You can also just go to Google and search for an image specifically and download an image there. Although just understand that you might, it might come with potential copyright issues eventually. So I don't recommend doing that, although I do still do it myself from time to time. If you want a background of an image, just kind of upload in there and put as your background and then you can build text around it and create a thumbnail that way. Also a great way to do it.
You can also overlay logos like you'll see I did here with the YouTube logo, the Amazon logo, um, you know, this little, this is all built in Photoshop. And then I just, you know, resize them here for my uh, Instagram thumbnails. So that's just a way that you can kind of use the free software on Canva. There's, you know, play around with it, spend maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's not hard to master at all. There's obviously elements here, different shapes that you can add, different, you know, things like that. Um, it's, it's very easy to master. It's not difficult and you can spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes and you'll be able to get this down. Okay. Now on the homepage, just to kind of recap before we end this, if you are interested in creating a specific design, you know, and none of these templates actually fit as you're scrolling, right? Like you're not interested in creating anything like this. Maybe you have a specific website that needs like a specific pixel ratio or a specific aspect ratio that you need to create something with. Then you want to go up to create a design and then custom dimensions, okay? And then if the website's telling you like, hey, you need like a 720 by like 660, you know, pixel ratio picture, then you just literally type that in, 720 by 660, okay? And then you create your new design and it's gonna pop up with those exact dimensions, okay? So that's important to keep in mind. Um, Canva's very, very easy to kind of master once you're starting it, but I just wanted to kind of walk you through, an, uh, you know, an easy to learn and easy to understand and let you kind of, you know, kind of level with you, be like, you know, Canva, I'm not a master of it because I don't necessarily use it. I use Photoshop and Lightroom and I just resize images with Canva a lot of times, but anybody can learn Canva in about 15, 20 minutes and it doesn't take a lot. It's literally drag and drop, right? You upload a picture, you drag it out, drop some text there, type it out, download your thumbnail, save it with the specific metadata, and bam, you've got your own thumbnail custom made just to how you like it. So use Canva if you're not interested in Photoshop or Lightroom, but obviously I'd recommend that you use Photoshop and Lightroom.